Breaking right now at noon, Illinois State Police confirming at least 12 schools have received threats in the state of Illinois today. And right now in Granite City, students are dismissing after the high school received a threat led to this large police presence. One viewer sent us this video showing a group of first responders and what you're able to see in this and what looks to be heavily armed officers there behind that fence going into one of the buildings on the high school campus in Granite City. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for News 4 at Noon. I'm Claire Kellett. First responders say that no credible threats have been found at the schools in Illinois. News 4's Deanne Broxton live for us outside of Granite City High School with what we're learning from the school district as well as the police department there. Dion. Claire, you can see that we got a long line of cars right here, here filled with parents who are going to pick up their students. Um, the school district told us about an hour ago that students started being released. You can see that the scene here looks a lot more different now compared to earlier. We had a lot of police cars, ambulances, first responders out here, but now you can see we only have a few cars out here now, but even like an hour ago or so, we had a helicopter standing over here. Now, uh, we just talked to the police in the school district, and they told us this started around 9.30 or so when, the, when a call came in. We now know that threat wasn't credible. Granite City Police say they are investigating to determine where that call came from, but they say there have also been threats made all over the state in Illinois, including nearby schools like Collinsville. All of this had parents frightened for hours. I got a phone call from my daughter-in-law. She told me that there was an active shooter up here at the high school and wanted to know if my granddaughter that goes to Coolidge was okay. I says, I don't know, and she told me what was going on, so I decided to come up here and find out. And so I did text my granddaughter, and she said she's okay, she's doing fine. We're going to continue to try to get information from the school districts and, and police and talk to students and parents, and we'll, and we'll bring you the latest details at 4, 5, and 6. Live in Granite City, Dion Broxton, News 4. First and foremost, glad everybody is doing okay this afternoon. Dion, thank you. We have